Hey everyone. What I want to discuss this morning is the power and potential of posture and permaculture to bring about a true comprehensive reorganization and redefinition of what it means to be an American, what it means to pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance not only to these flags, but to each and every one in the world that I am going to continue to use my power and every breath that I possess to forward these ideas that maximize our collective efficiency, our collective health, our collective clarity, and our capacity to be capable of living long, dynamic, healthy, enhancatory lives in which we enable and we empower not only ourselves to better understand these inner universes, but to help take that message out of us and help others understand their potential and to actualize their capabilities, to develop their proficiency, their precision with regards to how they solve their problems, with their relationships. How can they make their experience that much richer, that much more balanced, that much more in accord with reality, with the highest reality, with the most real reality. That's what embracing the laws of physics enable you to do. That's why we have the technology that we have. That's why we have underground fiber optic to cables that are flashing thousands, millions of bursts of light in seconds. You see those data transfer rates. So many kilobytes, so many megabytes per second. You know, you can't replicate that type of speed. All we can do is harness its power. And that should be enough for most of us to recognize that the divine forces that govern our lives must be redefined. If we are to truly combat extremism, whether it's Islamic extremism or Christian fundamentalist extremism or Hindu or Orthodox Judaism as an extremist expression of their theology, anything and everything needs to be confronted if it is trying to refer back to books and texts that are thousands of years old or hundreds of years old pre-DNA molecule discovery, pre-atomic theory, pre-Copernican heliocentric explanations for the reason why we gave up the notion of a geocentric, earth-centric idea of the solar system. That was essential for developing our knowledge of the earth and empowering those who had the 
maps and the knowledge about where resources were located, how to develop these supply chains that were the, the kernel of the global economic system that's been so transcendent, that's enabled people from all over the world, from all different cultures, of all different races, of all different ideologies, to come live in the same cities and to pursue their definition of happiness. First you make contact, after you make contact, then you incrementally retrain your body such that you discover its extremes. That's teaching you where to start you start at the foundations of you, which is the soles of your feet, your sit bones, but it's also the capstone, your crown point. Is another extreme. It's an extreme point from which you are expressing the most innate parts of your human animal self. There's something fascinating. There's something transformative. There's something that can never be replicated. By that process of discovery, and each of you possesses it because each of you possesses this original DNA design with these human dimensions. That enable you to unify yourself in the infinite combinations of ways, the infinite relationships. The infinite combinations of muscles the infinite combinations of your body that can act as resistance along with the air molecules that create zero pounds, but trillions of molecules of friction. push down but at some point you got to pull up and then you got to push up you've got to try to use your body asymmetrically in order to bring about a symmetricization of it in its totality part of that means that you're gonna have to embrace the need to elevate parts of your body. Mm. 
Permaculture is the way of the future. I can't say this enough. It is harnessing all of the knowledge that we have accrued over the eons, over the hundreds of thousands of years of us working with soil, of us working with the multitude of resources and plant species. that can be synergistically planted with each other such that we enhance the health of the soil, such that we grow more food, such that we reduce the amount of carbon dioxide, the amount of pollution that we and our sensibilities are responsible for. The industrial food system is incredibly efficient. It uses oil and energy in the most market-based conscientious fashion. It's the, the best way according to these economic laws that govern this economic system into which we were all born without any of our discussion or willingness to participate. This is what we have. And as such, it can be molded, it can be fashioned to allocate capital and resources in an equally efficient fashion. If we choose to empower our legislators with that ability, if we imbue them with this demand, with this idea that we can change this world, we can redefine theology, we can create something new. And I'm trying to make these videos so that you and everyone else is aware of that capability. And in making that more easily, more resonant with your consciousness, with her consciousness, with his consciousness, we can truly do something that is transformative. We can bring a new world into existence. One that is enhancing one that's enabling, one that's empowering, and how what's lacking, just a commitment. To sitting in the most dynamic fashion. To flexing without weights. You don't need the gym. You have a garden. You have a yard. <laughs>